Hello and welcome to the UW Libraries tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to do a database search for a basic keyword term. The database is the Cochrane Library through the UW Libraries. It is a medical database system. To get started you'll need to log on to the UW Libraries homepage and select the database icon. Two other icons I'd like to point out on this page are the icons for live chat and help and ask a librarian. They're helpful when doing a library search, so don't hesitate to ask for their assistance. After you click on the database icon, it will take you to a page for find and search. And under the title, you can select C for Cochrane, or go under Health Sciences and select Nursing, where a scrolling list of database titles will appear, and click on the Cochrane Library to take you to the Cochrane Library homepage. And this is the Cochrane homepage. It has a complete center of medical information and review reviewed studies for your use. This is the home page and one thing I wanted to point out also is in the menu bar here that if you're in need of just some quick information on a certain topic you can either do it through this drop down menu or you can scroll down to it and see browse by topic. And each of these topics has a link to a lot of medical information. And here on neurology I am going to do a broad search on brain tumors and so if I go back up here I can put in brain tumors and click the search bar and it will show that I have 31 articles and it looks like most of these have been reviewed and this one right here is showing me it's an NS which correlates to this code over here which is a new search for studies um, and scrolling down a little further, let's see what else I have in this list of 31. I have a couple more new searches. Oh, I have pro two protocols. And the two protocols, um, I'm going to explain that the difference between a protocol and a reviewed article is that this one is still in the preparation period and it is still going through being peer reviewed, whereas a reviewed article has completed that. Even though the dates on these this one, uh, 2013, um, has had time, but still it's in the process. So you can still access a lot of that information. Coming back up here, I want to refine my search. I want to um, actually see if I can find something in children. So I'm looking for brain tumors in children, but I want to be sure and pick up everything I can about children. So I'm going to take it down to the root word or to the basic word there. And I'm going to truncate it, which is a library search uh, method when you put the asterisk next to the root word or to the basic word and it can also possibly pick up synonyms like pediatrics and it refines it down to five. So now I have five articles and each of these have been reviewed and I'm specifically looking for pituitary gland. I'm interested in, I happen to know that craniopharyngiomas are brain tumors in um, the pituitary gland and I can see that it's an intracystic bleomycin so it's a, a treatment. So I click on it and I can see that there's the article right there. I can even use these tools for saving or to email it or to share with other individuals. If I need to cite it, I can simply click there. And of course this is the abstract form with all the different uh, tabs to see the different um, additional information. And the abstract, of course, gives you the basic information, but it also gives you a plain language summary, which is useful. I can also get it in a HTML and a PDF format as well. Additionally, the last thing I want to show you here is the mesh tree. So if I click on medical terms, and I'm looking at the craniopharyngioma and child specifically. 
I click on the lookup there in the mesh search, and it will give me what's called a mesh tree for additional medical information. So here we have the mesh tree, and it's d telling us about neoplasms. And also over here on this side, it's giving me some phrase matches that gives me some information on synonyms that may be connected in the search that I'm doing. Let's return back to the search page. Coming back to review the results page in the Cochrane Database Library. Um, it's just so that you can see where to get started on your searching. And additionally, uh, uh, some information I would like to leave you with is that in the librarian's picks for databases, there is the Synodal and the PubMed, and thirdly, the ProQuest Nursing which are all useful database systems to use for nursing or health sciences. And concluding, I'd like to tell you that if you need any help, to please don't hesitate to contact the UW Libraries. Happy searching!